is going on, Jets? It's RPM here. Coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man can only take so much disrespect. And with that being said, this article was brought to us by Swirl Mountain, and it was published on the 12th of September. Busted, Italian man who killed his Nigerian wife arrested after 30 hours on the run. Pierangelo Pellorazzi, the 61-year-old Italian man who murdered his Nigerian wife, Amenzi Rita, has been arrested by the Carabinieri. 31-year-old Amenzi was killed in front of her colleagues in the parking lot of MF Mushroom, a company where she worked on Friday morning, September 10th in Noventa, Vicentina. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! The suspect was arrested on Saturday afternoon, September 11th, after over 30 hours on the run. The unemployed man was tracked down in a house near his home in Vilaga, hidden in a chicken coop, still with the gun in his pocket. The carabinieri managed to surround and capture him. He didn't resist arrest. Quote, unquote, we are taking him to the barracks, confirms Nicola Bianchi, provincial commander of Vicenza. According to a statement from the public prosecutor's office, Amenzi was hit by four bullets, one of them which shattered her face. The victim tried to cover or excuse me, tried to take cover with her arms, which were also grazed by the bullets. As Amenzi's corpse slid to the ground between two cars, Pelizari fired a shot into the air to secure his escape. Witnesses said that the suspect then calmly slipped the gun into his jacket got into his SUV and drove away. Well, well, well. Here's the question that I would ask. What drove him to this? Let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, it went down in public. Gotta go with a five. Method of execution, he used a burner. Got to go with a five on that one. Psychological impact, I'm going to give this one a 10 because there were witnesses that saw this whole thing go down. And for the brutality factor, normally I would have given this one a five. However, the fact that he shot her in the face, I'm going to go ahead and up that one to a 10. So, Mr. Pelizari gets a score of 30. Now, let's take a step back and look at two key things that jumped out to me right off the jump. The fact that the guy is 61 and the fact that the guy is unemployed. Hmm. Hmm. She's 31. He's 61. He's unemployed. Now, the question is what I asked before. 
What drove him to do this? Well, you don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to put together a pretty believable scenario. She's working, he's not. Obviously, this might have been one of those situations to where a swirler decided, you know what, I'm going to get myself any white guy. And guess what? She probably used the fact that she was working to hold it over his head. Now, that is something that tends to be really common nowadays with women trying to say, oh, we're strong, we're independent, we're making our money, blah, blah, blah. So if they do get into a relationship with a man that has less than them, they will try to use the fact that they make more than that man to lord over him. Yeah. So it would seem that behind closed doors, she might have been a very domineering woman using the fact that she was working. Hey, I could be right or I could be totally wrong. But based on the limited information I have with this article, that's the scenario that I'm coming up with. If you guys think that there might have been something else, hey, leave it in the comment section. But all in all, this just goes to show you, ladies, when you send a man over the edge, it's only going to be you and him. There was no magical police force that just jumped in and shielded you from this man. This woman got shot in the face. Was there going to be any white knights who stepped up? Oh, no, 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 no. He already had that burner. He knew what he was going to do, and he went and did it. The fact that she was at her job, he did not care. Hey, it is what it is. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. If you have another scenario that you might have come, come up with, excuse me, put it in the comments section. But with that being said, ladies, understand this. Really think about this. The power will eventually go out. Feminism and all of the fake protection that you think you have that truly comes from a man's restraint will go out right along with it. Because trust and believe, there is not an insignificant number of men out there who are so fed up that they're waiting for the power to go out to finally release them from their restraints. And ladies, it's going to be bad for you. Oh, well, that's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up, murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill. Yeah, fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.